Hey, this is Hubscaps here with the Hubscaps channel. I'm going to teach you how to flash or update the uh, ROM kernel in your uh, FlyTouch or slash EPad. So, this is the EPad. It's not an HP thing. I just stuck that on there from an old broken laptop. Fuck with people. Um, it's pretty cool, actually. I like this thing. It doesn't last very long cause if you, like, crank it and use the Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi card is like hazardous to your health. It, it sucks so bad and it like you feel it when you turn it on. It gives you like a headache. This is a legacy product. Uh, Flytouch 1 doesn't even exist anymore. There's the third revision already released. So what you do is you uh, copy uh, a firmware that you want offline onto your SD card from a folder called script and you write that folder to your root directory on the SD card and uh, you're gonna need an everyday item a penny and I'll show you why you have to have a penny to flash the fly touch unless you have really long fingernails and you're set but I use an SD card adapter to read my micros. So you take it out. Put it in there. And then this is where it gets a little weird. You take take the fly touch and the coin, put it on the edge of the memory card and push it in there. And it'll click in there. Now you push it in there and turn on the E-pad, Fly Touch, E-pad, whatever. I don't know what to call it. It's Gome Fly Touch, the company that made it. But there were so many knockoffs of this particular seven-inch model with the 350 megahertz Via processor. So the speed on this thing, uh, it kind of sucks. You can't play any games. It's an app machine and a web browser. It's got a great big screen. Great for displaying pictures and retrieving weather information, and emails, and chatting. That's about it. It's got a camera up here. The uh, software codec interpolates and mashes up the picture so bad that it's just it's crap. You don't even really need to use it. But uh, it takes about two and a half minutes to uh, do a full system restore. And this is a ROM called Rudroid, which you can get from uh, tablets, AndroidTablets.net. It's uh, a firmware for the 256 megabyte system memory version of the Flytouch. And uh, Tipster, big shout out to Tipster. He makes like kick-ass uh, Flytouch firmwares and shit. And a big note to all the homies out there: I'm using an SD card micro reader to do the micro transfer switch do thing. Usually there's a little dongle right here and you put a memory card in it with the flash memory and the script and just copy the folder over via the thing you can actually flash itself with itself so you don't need a computer to do this. But uh, it takes a second Yeah, it takes like a minute. <laughs> a little long. Not too long though. So now that I know that the correct ROM is installed on the system, I can shut down. You know? Okay, there's my little. Sony P and there we go the fourth and final step two minutes <laughs> and then I'll put my shoes on alright data partition Upgrade file system successful. 
user space and it'll say the software upgrading is successful please remove the SD card and you do that while the computer's on with the coin and it just pops right out and the computer will shut itself down power off and now to activate your new ROM just turn it back on and there you go Rude Droid so this is Hubs Caps, the Hubs Caps channel share your ROMs if you find any nice ROMs for this uh, questions or advice shoot it to me always looking forward to people asking me questions so uh, yeah that's how you do it Hubs Caps out